Hi, you sexy biscuits, and welcome into Gothic 1. I played this a very long time ago on the channel, and I wanted to delve into this series because it's always fascinated me. And with a remake in development by THQ Nordic, I thought now would be a great time to play the game properly for the first time. So without further ado, let's begin a new game. So there was a cutscene, unfortunately it crashed the game. Yeah, this doesn't run fantastically on Windows 10, you need to do a couple of things to get it working properly. All you need to know is there's a massive force field around where we currently are, and we're currently trapped inside that massive force field. I'm Diego. I'm... I'm not interested in who you are. You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from choosing your own destruction. Well, what do you think? So this game's kind of interesting from what I remember. Uh, you have to hold down control to be able to do anything. Uh, it's very weird. Um, I do love the movement and animations. This is from 2001. This game came out before Morrowind. And from what I've seen, it does some stuff better. So first things first, let's pick up this torch. Okay, we picked that up. I'm going to see if there's anything else around here that I can pick up that might be useful. Oh, okay. Um, I'm blue now. Uh... <laughs> Why? I have no bloody idea. This game does not hold your hand whatsoever. Now, you have to hold down control and press W or forward to pick things up. Which I kind of like, because it feels like you are reaching down to grab it. That is a really cool feature. I can't remember if you can swim. Oh, brilliant. That's nice. I like that. Oh, you can even go underwater? Okay, that's awesome. I'm blue again. I don't know why I'm blue again. That just happens. Uh, how do I go up? Um. Am I dead? What? <laughs> Hang on. Am I dead? What just happened? I. Uh. And the adventures of Nameless Guy end instantly. Is that lightning? Did I get fried? I'm just slowly sinking towards my doom. This is brilliant. Okay, um, let's not go in there again, because that killed me last time. Let's grab the torch, and let's go and grab those nuggets, and the beer, and that's it for now. Ow, ow, just smacked my face on that. Um, right, ore nugget, yes. Uh, beer, y y uh, hang on, yes, great, right. Let's get out of here, I'm not gonna go in the water again, that was a terrible idea. At least I'm not blue anymore. Now, I do need to pick myself up a weapon. Oh, my God. Wait, is jump on right mouse click? Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, so it feels like there's some physics behind that. Are physics in this game? Possibly. I got a nice walk mode. That's very fancy. How do I climb ladders? Uh, ladder. Okay. Up I go. Yeah. Oh, Oh, you have to hold control down the entire time. Okay, right, up I go. The reason I want to go through this game is because I also want to play Gothic 2. And I wanted to play this game first so I uh, had some kind of knowledge of the story. So, uh, space bar? No. Uh, control. F. Oh. Oh, oh, that's nightmares. Oh, so it is control W. Right. What are you doing here? Making sure no one gets near the exchange place. Especially one of those cutthroats from the new camp. You're the new guy they chucked in today, right? That's me. Then you'd better watch out for the guys from the new camp. I work for the old camp. Same as the others you saw at the exchange place. I assume you've talked to Diego. Oh, yes, that was the guy that helped me from the river. Yes, I have talked to him. Good. Then you know what's what around here. Why do you sound like Yoda? I I'm looking for a weapon. There should be some old weapons by the derelict mine further down the canyon. But don't go and start a war with nothing but a rusty pickaxe for a weapon. Those things are slow and heavy. An inexperienced fighter should never use one of them unless it's an emergency. Now, from what I remember, this game's um, very difficult. Uh, <laughs> it really doesn't care if you die, as, as you saw at the start. Yeah. Oh, blueberries. I'll have some of those. Thank you. Uh, we got a meat bug. 
Ah, got the meat bug. Brilliant. So there's combat mode and there's normal mode. And then in normal mode, you can pick things up. So that's an experience. So you have to hold control and then click left or right to put it in different inventories. That's very confusing. <laughs> I'll get the hang of it probably. It's fine. Right. Yeah. Got the meat bug. Brilliant. No, stop punching. No, stop it. Stop punching, please. This is not your life. Control W on the, the meat bug and then control D. Right. It's very weird. Can I actually use my torch? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's fancy. Oh, I, I dropped that on the, I didn't, did I just eat? Oh God, this is, this is very confusing. Right, so I need to come out. Oh no, oh, oh, everything's gone very wrong. Pick it up, no, pick it up. Right, and then pick it up. Okay, now put the torch away. Can I do that? No, no. <laughs> I think the torch is a one-use thing. Well, you know, we have a torch. That's something. It looks really nice. I got to say, the lighting in this game looks bloody lovely. And let's open that, that. Yeah, that's it. Set it on fire. Brilliant. Um, I just put the torch in there. That wasn't good. Okay, now put it in my inventory. Right. Okay, pick up everything that's inside here. Then if I go in my inventory, it's all in here. Right. Okay. I think I understand how to do this now. Can you imagine people playing this back in 2001 without a guide telling them how to do certain things? It would have been an experience, but it would have been an immersive experience, I suppose. Oh, there's a pickaxe. Now, he did say not to use one. Um, I might have to. So, if I was to grab this. Right. So, that is now on my back. So, if I was to go into combat, he gets it out. So, and then I can swing right. I can swing left. I can do a upper and a block move that looks like he's taking a poo. Brilliant. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Don't don't fall. I don't want to fall immediately and die. Oh, what's that? Is there a, a quick save button? Okay. There is a quick save. Thank God. Right. Get out the pickaxe. I think there's a weapon there I can grab as well. So, oh, okay. All right, block. Is it, is it? Oh, it's a mole rat. Hey, we killed our first enemy. Nice. Right. Put it on your back. Grab that rusty sword because that's going to be a lot better than what I'm currently holding. Now I've got a rusty sword. Yeah, that's going to be a lot better. Got myself an ore nugget. Very fancy. Some rich schnapps. Okay. I wonder if it's savior schnapps. Ooh. Right. So let's head back down then. I'm guessing I can heal myself by using food. The only thing I don't understand is how to get back to their inventory from mine. Let's eat some blueberries. Does that work? Oh, look at that! Oh, that's fancy. There you go. Let's drink some of this rich schnapps. Oh, that's a good... Oh, 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 very fancy. What is that? Oh, okay. Uh, all right, I've got this. I, I know how to play this game. All right, here we go. All right, come on. Bring it on. Block. Okay, block. No, block. B just block all the time, and then it can't ever hit you. Right. Upper. Nice. And slice. Oh, my God. I didn't take a hit. I'm very happy with myself right now. I'm actually kind of impressed I didn't take a hit there. I'll be honest. Uh, I love how the blueberries are red. Because that makes sense. Uh, let's pick up this old sword and we can probably sell it, right? Combat mode activate. Block. And then swing. <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. I'm supposed to loot them, aren't I? Hang on. I forgot to do that. But yeah, this feels pretty good to play. For a game that's almost 21 years old, it's actually playing really, really well. I'm going to test something a second. Could I jump off this? <laughs> yeah, there were definitely some physics there. That was awesome. So this game does have kind of tank controls. So if I was to hold D, you can see he spins around. 
And then if I was to hold W, he goes forward. But I like how fluid it is. It feels really good to control him. As opposed to something like Resident Evil 1 and 2, uh, which had tank controls as well. I never enjoyed how those characters moved. Um, but this feels a lot more fluid than that. Uh, are you friendly? Hello? I want to warn you. If you continue this way, you'll be entering our hunting ground. What exactly do you hunt? Mostly scavengers. There's a lot of meat on them. Besides, it ain't too hard to get them. Once you know how. Really? How's that? Ask my friend Drax here. He knows more about these things than anyone. You say that, but I've killed like two. I'm actually really good. Why is this area so dangerous anyway? You've just arrived, haven't you? There are different areas in this colony which are all more or less dangerous. The paths between the camps are quite safe, but even there you might come across some wolves which look on you as uh, easy prey. And that's exactly what you are until you get a proper weapon and armor. Okay, well what can I get better equipment? The nearest place is that old camp. Just follow the path that brought you here. But you can get the stuff cheaper in our new camp provided you know the right people. If you go to the old camp, ask for more drag. He's one of us. For just a little ore, he'll sell you the proper goods. Where can I get a map? Ask the people in the old camp. There's a cartographer living there. Maybe you can steal one of his maps. If you manage to do it, take one from me as well. Oh, a little side quest. Okay, why doesn't he sell the maps? If you get enough ore to pay for them. Ah, right. So everything uses ore in this. Not Groshen. Uh, <laughs> okay, awesome. Right, thanks for your help. Don't go thinking everyone's going to be so friendly, kid. There may not be much in a newcomer's pockets, but some folks would even beat you up for a pickaxe. A, a pickaxe? <laughs> no, I don't have a pickaxe. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm just going to go this way then and not be in their hunting ground because they're probably going to attack me. Let's head for this old village over here let's uh quickly kill this guy just to get some experience because that could be useful right now right keep blocking keep blocking go for an attack come on you know you want to wait is this what really that was my kill i'm quick saving a lot uh just in case it crashes because for some reason cutscenes cause it to crash so um i'm slightly worried <laughs> i'll be honest who's this guy what are you doing here? What's it look like? Regarding the bridge, of course. We make sure that no beasts cross the bridge. Okay, cool. Do you have any advice for me? Yeah, don't go in the forest on your own. Unless you're strong enough to fight off all the beasts. You have a very mocking tone. I don't like you. Make sure you get to the old camp. They're holding a pickaxe for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like that guy. What is that thing? Are they like bloat flies? Also, I love the animations. It almost looks a bit like stop motion. Oh, what's this guy doing? Oh, oh, that's cool. So there is full AI where the enemies can actually attack uh, civilians, which is nice. All right, uh, it's called a blood fly. Right, so let's take this. Might be able to sell that. And let's head into town. There's some more mole rats over there. Uh, there are three of them though, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, until I know my weapons a bit better. Because I don't really want to die this early. <laughs> well, apart from earlier, which didn't happen! Where do you think you're going? To the camp. You ain't come to make trouble, have you? Probably. Not. No. No, no trouble. I have a pickaxe. I mean, no I don't, because you want it. Look, yes, I'd like to enter. And just take a look around if that's alright. That'll cost you ten ore. Sorry, ten ore? All right, fine, here you go. I don't have that much with me. I'll make an exception just this once, because you're new here. Uh, okay. Thank you? That seemed easy. Yeah, that's made me worry a bit. Okay. Uh, oh, there's someone over here. I'll quickly go and see this person, then we'll head inside. Oh, they got some stuff on the floor. I'm not going to take it, just in case they get angry. What are you doing out here? I want to be left in peace, so get lost. Oh. You're fun. Cool. All right, I'll be on my way then. What about you? I'm waiting for a friend to return from the mine. He owes me some ore. I can't turn up in the camp without the ore. I couldn't pay the protection money for the guards and then things would get real heavy for me. Oh, they let me in. 
without the ore, which makes me question that even more. Hello, I'm new here. Just arrived, have you? I'm Grim. I haven't been here for long either. I was thrown in with the load before you. Oh, so what's life like here then? Easy going. As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. Yeah, about that. Uh, again, I, I didn't. Am I going to get beaten up? I don't know what's going to happen. What do I have to do if I want to get admitted to this camp? Well, first of all, you have to become a shadow. Therefore, you have to find somebody who supports you. Somebody who explains everything to you and takes responsibility for you. If I was you, I'd try to keep close to Diego. I did it like that. He's quite all right. He'll make you take the test of faith. That's different from everybody. Then there'll be some other smaller tasks from other shadows. If you manage them, you'll be with us. So this is the first faction. Okay. What was your test of faith? I can't tell you, man. You have to be silent about things like that here. Oh, it's Diego. Hello, Diego. Apparently, I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Apparently. Really? I was given it by a mage shortly before they threw me in here. You're lucky I can't afford to show my face around the mages anymore. Anyone else would gladly slit your throat for that letter. That's because the mages pay their couriers a lot, and most people here don't have anything. If I were you, I'd shut up until I met one of the mages. Although in your situation, that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle in the old camp. Only Gomez's people are allowed to enter the castle. I really like that this is fully voice acted because Morrowind wasn't. Uh, and that's one of the biggest issues I have with that game and being able to play it. I really struggle with uh, non-voice acted RPGs because um, I struggle to keep the concentration to read everything. I really like that this is fully voice acted though. Who's Gomez? Gomez is the most powerful ore baron. He's the boss of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. And let's assume I want to join his people. What do I need to do? At the gate of the castle, you'll find a man called Thoris. Tell him Diego sent you. So, I need to find a man called Thoris. Ah, there he is. I want to work for Gomez. Oh, yeah? And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? Well, I'm very fancy to begin with. But also, I have an inane knowledge of Fallout New Vegas. Does that help you in any way? Although, I will say Diego did say you decide who Gomez is interested in. If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? Look, let me explain. Diego's gonna test you. If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. Whatever happens after that is up to you, okay? Right, let's go see Diego then. Maybe he can help here. I wonder what the test is gonna be. Oh no, that's the wrong button. <laughs> I just immediately killed Diego. Hang on. Is that something I can do? I'm gonna quick save. Oh my god, I can! Oh. Let's see who's winning this time! I think I just collapsed and now my mouth is wide open. Um <laughs> I died of shock. Right, I've talked to Thorus. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. Do we start right now? First, there are a few things you should know. If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. There are a few influential people in the outer ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, it'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of faith. Besides, there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. All right, so where do I find these important people? Well, you're looking at one of them. Then there's Thoris. You already know him. As for the others, you'll have to find that out by yourself. If you don't manage to do that, you don't belong here anyway. Just go through the outer ring and talk to people. Then you'll find out who's important. Are we in the outer ring right now? I'm assuming we are, right? Okay, so it's just doing side quests for people. Oh, that's fine. I'm good at side quests. I've played all the Fallouts, all the Elder Scrolls. I'm good. Hello, you sexy biscuit. You okay? I'd like to join you if possible. Is it just me or do you look awfully like Leonard Nimoy? I'd like to join the Shadows. Then you should know that Gomez doesn't tolerate failures. If you want to be one of us, you have to be prepared to go through fire for him. Only half of those who tried ever got accepted. What happened to the rest of them? They're probably sitting in the new camp munching rice. <laughs> 
Grim, how, how far have you got with your tests, Grim? I've already talked to Dexter and Sly and Fingers. They are some of the most influential shadows here in the camp. Ah, Dexter, Sly and Fingers. Right. I need to remember that. Dexter, Sly, and Fingers. I'm assuming they'll be up here? Are you one? Maybe. Did he just say maybe? I said, are you one? He goes, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I love it when that happens in games. It's amazing. Baltaran. What's up? You'll learn soon enough. Be on your guard at all times, especially at night. I haven't slept properly for days. And if you don't sleep in this colony, then you're doing double time. I just realized I'm talking to the wrong person. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I actually wanted to talk to the guy to the left of you. Hello, I'm new here. I don't know why I keep bringing that up. It's almost like I want to get beaten up. I am Baal Taran of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. The Sleeper? The Sleeper is our Redeemer. He disclosed himself five years ago through Eberian, our master. Since then, we have renounced the three gods. And you should do so as well. The gods just stood by and watched while we were exiled to this prison. But the sleeper will lead us to freedom. Okay, cool story. Uh, I, I need to get into the castle. Can you help me? I fear I cannot, brother. The only ones among us who may enter the castle are those who supply the weed to Gomez. We gather swamp weed and sell part of it to the old camp in exchange for goods from the outside world. If you were one of the couriers working for Kor Kalom, you could get into the castle. But for that, you would need to be one of us. What do you want to do in the castle anyway? I'll be honest, I really need the toilet. But also, um, I have a letter. No, I can't say that. I want to meet someone there, yes. Do you? Who? And why don't you just wait until he comes out? He's constipated. I don't know. Look, just... He's one of the magicians, all right? Well, they never leave the castle. You really will have to get in. What do you want from them anyway? Magic runes or potions? Uh, I'm not supposed to tell you, but uh, yeah, that's right. Not specifically saying which one. What else would a guy like you want with the mages? I can give you some good advice. Forget the mages. They take far too much ore for their stuff. Magic runes and potions are much cheaper in our camp. He's trying to bloody swindle me and get the sale. I do not approve, good sir. Hey, you. Are you talking to me? I'm warning you. People like you can get into trouble awfully quick round here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. Uh, sorry, it's not a threat. On the contrary, it's an offer of friendship. I've gotta say right now, this water effect looks bloody fantastic. Look at it running off the character models and on the floor. God damn! 2001! Wow! So hang on a minute, you want me to pay you protection money? I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. Oh yeah, sure sounds friendly, doesn't it? Take care of yourself, kid. Oh, don't worry, I will. That's it. Piss off. I'm gonna regret that, alright. Uh, Graham! Ooh! And it's not raining inside! Oh! I love this! Look at that! Right, go inside! Oh, brilliant. Hey, Graham, you all right? I'm Graham. I draw maps. I haven't seen you here before. What do you want? Oh, you're the map guy. Yes, I actually needed to talk to you about that. Sure. What are you thinking of? The more you can see on a map, the more expensive it is. Map. Unfortunately, a big territory southwest is missing. That's helpful. Uh, sketch. Brilliant. Uh, a map to the old mine. Overview of old camp and some water. Uh, could I sell you stuff? Oh, hang on. If you go all the way through your inventory, which, by the way, is... Oh, I'm going to be honest, it's awful. Um, but if you go all the way through your sections of your inventory, right to the left, and then press left again, or A, I guess, um, it actually goes through the inventory and back to their one. 
Right, that's what I obviously need to do next time. Uh, will you buy stuff off me? Do you like tumblers? Because I've got one right here. It's bloody fancy. Can I give you this? And then you give me something in return. Is that something you can do? Uh, so this map. Value of 40. Really? Hang on. 11 coin. 1. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Those wings cost a lot. So let's give him both those. So that's 30. Uh, let's also give him these meats. So we're up to 33, 40. And how much did he want for it? Uh, map of the colony, 50. You know what? We're going to get that colony map. Right, hang on. Uh, let's give him these beers. Oh my god. Right, hang on. Map of the colony. Yes. And then trade. How do I do that? <laughs> oh. How do I trade? Enter? Oh, yes. Ah, accept. Oh, my God. Hang on. Did that work? It did. Oh, my God. I'm amazing. That's not helpful. But, hey, we learned something. Oh, I'm a bloody genius. Come on, put that thing away. Oh, they even notice when you have weapons right out? Decision. That's great. I love it. Um... There is a chest there. Now, can I crouch? No. Um, no, I cannot. Hang on. Can I sneak? Oh, in the fire. Maybe I need to learn how to sneak because right now I definitely can't. Uh, so if I was to try and steal from in here, he's probably going to notice, right? Oh, my God. Hang on. He's got the ore I need. I'm going to take all this. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Did he notice that? Oh my god, he didn't. <laughs> okay. Where's this guard? Because if I if I can pay him, hopefully he won't beat me up. Aren't you the guy who wants to join the camp? What if I am? I could help you. And how? There are two guys sitting around outside the camp. One of them has stolen something from the ore barons. It's a precious amulet, which should have arrived with the last convoy. One of them should still be in possession of the amulet. If we attack them together, we should manage. I couldn't do it on my own. What do you say? Oh, those two guys. Right, yes. Sure, yeah. All right, just tell me when we can start. Okay, cool. Uh, thank you. Right, let's go find this bloody guy. I don't know where he went. Oh, there's another chest here. That sounds good. What sounds good? Open it. Open it. No, don't stand on it. Are we still over there? He's right where I bloody left him. <laughs> Here's me thinking the AI would have moved on. I've changed my mind. I'm going to pay you that or after all. Don't ask where I got it from. There now. You see, you can make the right choices. And from now on, you'll keep paying me your daily contribution, won't you? Daily? No, you can piss off. I'm not paying you daily. That's ridiculous. Don't you worry about anything here in a camp. We'll be looking out for you. So I'm going to leave it here. Um, I think we've seen quite a lot today. Um, I will be coming back and playing this, though, definitely, because I'm really bloody loving this. I don't know why I never continue playing it back in the day. Um, but yeah, it's really bloody good. And for a game from 2001, it's kind of blown my mind a little bit. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure back when I played this about three years ago, I also was blown away. And I wish I'd kept playing it. Um, but if you enjoyed this, leave a like down below. Tell me. Comment and all that. Uh, but until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys. Pico, Pico the Penguin. Pico, Pico the Penguin. Pico, Pico the Penguin. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cute.